words come in all kinds of forms in Tropico 5. Maybe you're content with providing housing for your bustling citizens, or a tavern for those thirsty after the working day ends. There's a chance that you're a ruler who favors the arts, in which case an opera house would be a fine reward. For me, success came with an outstretched hand and a bushy mustache. It's high time that I left for the U.S., buddy. But before I go, I cannot help but acknowledge the many things I learned while staying on this beautiful island as your guest of honor. You see, upon founding an island nation somewhere in the Caribbean, I had to become chummy with my allies. This meant swallowing my scruples to make nice with local pirates, something I'm not proud of. Our brave commander met with the pirate and decided to join him. Together they raided several towns. By the by, Black Soul Patch is now known as Black Goatee. But it also meant reaching out to those more powerful than I. That's where America comes in. Hundreds of years ago, the USA wasn't the world leader that it is today, but it was still a much bigger fish than I. So when their president offered to visit my nation, well, I jumped at the chance. Governor, Tropico's economic performance is most astounding. It almost looks like you did that specifically to challenge me. Granted, he wouldn't lower himself to my level just for kicks. I had to make my island hospitable, build homes, and start a functioning economy before the big guy with the mustache would take notice. In the hopes of getting in their good graces, I started plantations all over my little island. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. All of the farmable land was put to good use, and before long, I had more cotton and corn than I knew what to do with. I started a couple farms as well, hardy places where sheep and cows roamed free and happily until their lives were ended. It's a hard life, no doubt, but you can't be America's friend without breaking a few, um, cows and whatnot. Anyone can try to grow something. Try making money out of large-scale cattle products. Now there's a tough, smelly challenge. What do you say? I started libraries to get my smartest minds churning. Sure, it's easy from our modern vantage to laugh at the invention of the shovel and sickle. Great news! While searching through the crates of colony supplies, we found a sickle! Now we have something that goes perfectly with our hammers. But those primitive tools were instrumental in helping us thrive. Suddenly in the mines that lay tauntingly nearby, assuredly filled with gold or diamonds or some other treasure, could be picked clean. And as my wealth grew, so did my independence. I still sent half of my goods back to the motherland, and would receive a small stipend where my funds were down, but that was just a necessary relationship built on tradition. I could do without my native land. I just needed a little more time. Then there was a breakthrough at the library. After hard labor, my best scientist invented a constitution, and everything was coming up Millhouse. Who knew that I could move beyond a monarchy into something more personal? A government should be ruled by the people, after all. I should have known that all along, and so I made my strongest decree soon after this major discovery. We were going to be independent. Welcome, brother. Today, you and your family join a select few who have taken upon themselves the burden of governing the world. The coup to cut ties with our homeland was quick and bloodless. Surely they must have realized that our vigor was no match for their strength, and we enjoyed our newfound freedom. Granted little change in the transition, but it was the principle of the thing. We deserved to be ruled by our own words. His Majesty is most amused by your declaration of independence. And that's when America finally swooped in to befriend their newly single neighbor. And that was all that I needed to claim victory in Tropico 5. The game has been a long time coming to the PlayStation 4, but this port is sound. It looks nice, plays even better, and gives you that revolutionary buzz that's been lacking from Sony's library. <laughs>